We're eating everything today is going to be vegan. Got the goods, mate. Look at It keeps repeating on me and it's not great. For all you vegans that you stacked up previously, I was wrong. <laughs> Change your plan, mate. What? Change your plan, is it? Yeah. Why are we walking? I thought we were should driving we, into should town. Should we drive into town? Should, go should we drive into town, mate, shall we? Flat tyre. Flat tyre, is it? Oh. Why is it always something wrong in my car? <laughs> always. How many of these videos have we started? Oh, mate, your my car. car being full. So we've now got to walk about a mile into Bath because Mike. Is it a had, mile? Yeah, Mike had to take his car to quick fit because he's got a slow puncture. Too, Too much mass in his car. Too much mass. The tyres keep going down. Yeah. <laughs> this is the start of this video, yeah? Brilliant. Start of the vegan video. So rather than use our car, we're just going to walk everywhere today because we're vegan. vegan. We're eating everything today is going to be vegan. Yeah. Everything that passes our lips today that you see on this video is going to be vegan. We definitely aren't walking in just because Mike's car's got a slow puncture. Definitely yeah. not. No, no, no. It's because we care about the environment yeah. loads. So We're going to do a full day of eating of vegan foods. Then yeah. we're probably going to give some vegan alternatives, how we would eat if we were vegan. Maybe the... We are vegan. Maybe the pros, the cons, that kind of thing. And we might just show that obviously today you can still eat vegan. Yeah. And it might not necessarily be healthier. Who knows? Depends anyway. what we go and get. I'm pretty hungry anyway. I am hungry. I'm hungry. Well. I will be after this long walk as well, fasted yeah. walk, so we'll crack on. Got the goods, mate. Got the goods, yeah. Got the goods. How many calories in that? Each, roughly? yeah, it'll be roughly 700 for breakfast, which ain't too bad. It's not too it's bad. What, for 11, half 11 now? Yeah. First meal, three meals of that. It's being a vegan, like, started all right, isn't it? Easy. I, I think. I think I'm starting to grow dreadlocks. I'm not. Bucket of coffee, please. Yeah, have you seen the size of the flat white thing as well? Yeah. The flat white's massive. Did you notice the guys who nearly served you? Yeah. Dreadlocks. Dreadlocks. <laughs> Mate, they're taking over. You know what his name was? <laughs> no. Rain. Rain. <laughs> so what we've got here is from Costa. We've got an almond milk cappuccino with sugar-free gingerbread syrup. Ooh. Completely vegan. Then from Greg's, we've gone and got the infamous Greg's sausage roll and a Greg's steak bake. I've tried the sausage roll before, so I'm going to let Dan review that one. And I'm probably going to go for the steak bake. Okay. Steak bake for breakfast. Yeah, as you do. So here's a steak bake. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> Very good. I wouldn't know the difference. I mean, it's been a long time since I've had a, a normal steak bag, so I don't know the comparison, but it's really nice. It's really nice. That's really, really nice. Where's the try it? Is that the same amount of calories in that as a normal one? Probably is. Less, I'd say. A bit less, isn't it? How much protein there? We need to find out the protein. Yeah. We'll do the math for a full day, shall we? You'll have to, mate, I reckon. Yeah. So, what's happened is, is Dan handed me the camera. I don't know why you would switch it off because it's going to be edited anyway so I don't know why you would switch it off. He switched it off, we've then, I've then been holding the camera and he's done the full review once already so this element of surprise is lost. And then I've gone, it's not on. Yeah, I'll switch it off. What did you switch it on for? You, you're literally doing it now. So let's take two, shall we? All right, Dan. So vegan sausage roll. Vegan sausage roll. <laughs> oh, I wonder what, mm, ooh. Oh, oh. It's very good. If you were given this, every normal one, you would never know the difference. It's just a tiny, tiny bit drier. Feels like I've heard this before. I think deja vu. <laughs> I would not be disappointed if I'd given that a sausage roll. I wouldn't complain. I agree. It's very, very good. Steak bake. It's a steak bake. Okay. It looks like mince as well. Very impressive. Again, you would not know the difference. You wouldn't know the difference between that and a steak bake. Very good, isn't it? You can't complain if you're given that as a steak bake. I don't think people would be able to tell the difference. I'd be happy, like... I could happily eat vegan if that were like obviously you can't eat that every day for breakfast like it's just as unhealthy but you know if you're vegan and that that comes out that's a winner in it yeah fuck the broccoli very, very good. <laughs> that's for you guys it is good I wouldn't tell the difference. It'd be interesting to see if we have one next to each other. The only reason you could is the dryness. The only reason. It'd be interesting to see. If you did a blind taste test, you wouldn't be able to taste the yeah. difference. Do you reckon, like, if, if I had a pot sauce drawn next to us, and this, do you reckon... You'd know, just, taste? Like, just by, not by taste, by looking at it, you couldn't, you could tell, a tiny bit. I reckon. I think so. It's so good. Right. 
we know what almond milk cappuccinos and that taste like because we have them, don't we? No. You have them regularly. Yeah. Almond milk, it's low in calories. Yeah. I think there's about, I feel bad, I think it's about 70 calories yeah. for a cappuccino. Uh, almond milk, which ain't too bad. I wouldn't have almond milk cappuccino normally just because I prefer the taste of dairy. I'm not fussed about the calories, but they don't taste any different. Like, I could easily do that. If someone said to me, you have to go vegan fluids, I wouldn't miss cow's milk particularly. You deal with it, do you know what I mean? But they are very impressive. So 700 calories then for breakfast? Yeah. Plus the coffee. Which is a bucket, by the way. Look at the size of this. A bucket of coffee. <laughs> Meatball marinara. Next one, Subway. I'd say post workout, but I didn't have much of a workout because I've just been informed that uh, you know, the flat tire from earlier. Yeah, just grinding half quote. But, yeah, we need to do all four times. <laughs> all, all four? No, there's just one that's fine. No, we need to do all four. Do you? I bet you do. So I'm currently feeling sick. But anyway, we're going to go for a foot long. Foot long. The vegan cheese doesn't melt quite the same as normal cheese. Marinara, meatball. I definitely, by the way, asked for Italian herbs and cheese bread and you went, that's not vegan, and I was like, good point. I like this one. All right, Italian. Yeah, like Italian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awful. Awful. Uh, it's the weakest. Really poor. Not as good as the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, it. It's really poor. The meatballs aren't cooked or they're just hard. They're solid. They need to be cooked, yeah. Well, yeah, they're not warm, they're cold. Well, it will be now. It's been here about two minutes. What's it like in the same? Maybe it was the first one. The first one was hard yeah. and cold. Mm. It couldn't be just the way you've cooked it. That one's warm and better. It doesn't taste like meat at all. It's just a lump of tasteless food in the sauce and <laughs> taste. Do you know what I mean? That's what I mean. Yeah, this is poor. <laughs> Very poor. All that. That's good. Cook the same. Um, vegan cheese is minion. Is it eating cheese? It's not vegan, is it? Oh, it's not. It just tastes like tomato sauce, and the vegan cheese is not good. But that's vegan cheese for you. It's yeah. not Subway's fault. So I wouldn't get this over a normal meatball like that. No. You would know if you got this. You would know if you got given this. You can tell the difference. You wouldn't know if you got given grapes. Yeah. So yeah, I'm glad I only got a six inch. It's all I can handle anyway. There are a few back. Very disappointed in some way. Yeah. Very disappointed. It keeps repeating on me and it's not great. Tasteless, isn't it? It is. The meatballs are tasteless. Compared to the Greg's, which was pretty fucking good. 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 Can't argue with that. Greg's. Wouldn't know the difference. I would no. definitely know the difference between the meatballs. A hundred percent I would know the difference. It weren't horrible to eat. It, it was horrible. just tasteless. Like, didn't really have taste yeah, because like, you get the tomato sauce, you get the salad, you get the bread. It's all nice. But it's just... In, in isolation, you take the meatball out, you mm. taste it, Not there's really. no flavour to it, so it's a bit of a weird texture. It's just in there because it's a ball shape, like, and we all like that. The thing I don't understand with the whole the whole vegan movement is, number one... It's getting bigger. It's definitely getting bigger, by the way, because when we were in even there... Even facts, even... even there the were more people ordering that than other times. Genuinely, were well, people chatting about vegan stuff in there? Ridiculous. Weird. The weird thing I find out weird is, it, one, it's not healthier. We've just proved that, pretty much, we're by eating that food, right? It's not healthier. Yeah. Greg sausage roll is still 350 calories. It's still not going to be great yeah. for you to eat loads of that, right? But number two, if you're doing it for the ethical reasons, you wouldn't eat in those places because they spend millions or they make shitloads of profit on selling animal products. So surely you'd be like, well, no, I'm not going to eat that. I think I think it's probably good or to, to counter that, to play devil's advocate. Yeah, you're right. We're going to have KFC for tea. And it's almost like, well, you're giving money to an organization that, that kills, kills chickens, chickens, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you get that. But at the same time, I think that their principle is, well, they're not eating it. It is a fair swap to go, yeah, do you know what? I do like the, the flavor or the taste and KFC, mm. like, do you know what I mean? I do like that. Maybe many. maybe as well, if they made more profit on that, they would then make less of the chicken and push yeah. that more, maybe. You know, like- They must be making more profit. Well, it's the same thing as voting, where people go, well, my vote's not gonna make a difference. It's kind of, I imagine that they think, you know, like, well, me not eating that is another chicken saved or whatever. When you think vegan food, you automatically think bland, boring, vegetable, whatever. Yeah. And the, it's nice. Like, the vegan stuff at Greg's was good. Again, Subway, if you've not eaten meat for God knows how long, it tastes good. It's, it's good. Like, it's, yeah. you know. And I imagine the KFC is going to be half decent as well. Well, we'll find out later. I had an ex-client message me last right. night. An ex-client message. Well, have you seen the, um, the documentary Game Changers? Mm. What do you think of it? Like, what do you mean, what do I think of it? I think you're getting information off Netflix about what you should do. If you're making your dietary decisions through documentaries off Netflix, 
probably look at where you're looking for your information. Good luck with that. Like maybe, like where we've got no interest, right, in telling people to eat meat or to not eat meat. What does it matter? I don't care if you eat meat or not. I don't care, right? But the person that's making that documentary owns so, like some kind of vegan range. Yeah, of, like, shares in vegan share, products. Right. Yeah. So again, so they've got a, they've got a financial interest in you being interest. vegan. Would people benefit from eating more vegetables in a diet? Yeah. Across the board, that's the case. Obviously, vegetables satiating, full of fiber, full of vitamins, minerals. Mm. Like, it's great to include within your diet, of course. We don't eat enough of it, especially in the Western world. Like, we don't. You eat more of that, you probably eat less junk. Correlation as well, just to finish off, correlation doesn't equal causation. So a lot of people say, oh, vegans are just healthier. You know, you don't see a fat vegan, I've heard, and, and things like that. It's like, but yeah, but that's typically because a vegan is potentially more health seeking. Yeah. They if look they've to made me. the decision yeah. to eliminate something from their diet, means that they are consciously making a decision about whether it is environment, whether it is health, whatever yeah. that is. They are likely to, to be more, more active. yeah, more active. Use Maybe use less. less transport. Yeah. People who don't eat red meat, processed meat, are less likely to smoke and to drink alcohol. So again, is it the fact that they're not eating the red meat, or is it the fact? that they're not also doing those other things, those smoking, things, drinking, yeah. and amongst other things. So you might lump into that potentially exercise. Yeah. So again, you can't pinpoint a particular thing because it comes with other things alongside it. So you'll never be able to narrow that down. So just because you might say, oh, you've never seen a fat vegan. Yeah, because of maybe some other things that they're doing Health alongside. Yeah. You know, they're not going to KFC because it wasn't available and to also, them before. All those health seeking behaviors alongside any normal diet in restricting calories, we'll do the same thing, yep. by the way. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get some KFC, KFC. Kentucky Fried Chickpeas. Yeah, nice. Mate, I can't believe you're going to KFC and not getting chicken. I oh, know, it does feel weird. I didn't want it as well. I really want a KFC. I wonder how much, Fancy KFC. I wonder how many calories is in it compared to the normal chicken one. We need to find out, don't we? Yeah. Normal order, I'd be having gravy. I mean, it looks appetizing. Two seconds later. I mean, it looks pathetic. So, we've gone for, obviously, the vegan chicken. There's vegan mayo on there, lettuce. There's the corn vegan burger and, obviously, the, the bread. The chips are not vegan. So, even though it's just potato, they must be fried with the chicken. So, you can't have chips with your meal. You've literally got to have that. Three hours later. There's no vegan gravy. Again, everybody knows that the gravy from KFC is the best. Because what you order is a Wicked Zinger towel meal. Correct me if I'm wrong, Wicked Zinger towel meal. So with the hash brown in. Maybe. You then get either, so I would go fillets or popcorn with the gravy. So I might have a two, two hot wing that comes with a Wicked Zinger towel box meal. And have that, and I'd be dipping my popcorn and my fillets in the gravy. As well as the chips, obviously. That's my order. It's dry. It's a common theme in vegan products. Very dry. But it does have that KFC taste. So if you are vegan, this is what a bit like what KFC tastes like. Better than Subway. Yeah. Mark better. What are those 11 herbs and spices? I'm going to go out there and say if you're a vegan, this is a very good substitute for KFC. As is the Greg's sausage roll, but the Subway, that's not what meatballs, that's not what meatballs taste like. Yeah. Subway. 18 grams of protein in this, which ain't too bad either. Only 480 guys? 450. You could serve that to me and I'd be happy with that. Let me see if they've even tried to make the texture like chicken. That is actually good. The mayo's obviously vegan as well, you've no eggs. It is good. For all you vegans have been snagged off previously, I was wrong. You, you do have an interesting diet if you go to KFC. We've been a vegan any time soon? No. Sorry, is it? That's alright, innit? Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't that good? The reason this is not vegan is it's flame grilled on the same grill. That's what gives it that taste. It tastes just like a burger. It's another good one. It'd be interesting if we had the real burger and compared. You can tell it's vegan. Yeah. It's a bit wet out there. It is. It's really a bit wet. wet. So we couldn't do the review in Burger King because it wasn't as echoey as this, apparently. <laughs> Quite good. Yeah. I'm not as good as the KFC one, in my opinion. But close. But close. And the reason it isn't vegan, it's plant-based, 
is that it's cooked on the same grills as the burgers, and that's what gives it the flame grilled flavour that's written on the bottom of the advertisement. It's not actually meat. But there's no meat in it, and all the food products in it are plant based and all that sort of stuff. The mayo's vegan or whatever. The only downside, it did have that slight. Like, if you've ever had vegetarian or vegan burgers before, you'll know what I mean. There's a certain taste, and also that the calories are quite high in it. Um, yeah, for what it is. Calories. We can't work out where the 700 calories come from. There's a bit of protein in there. Yeah. But like, nothing like crazy. I just think that that's a little bit high, considering yeah. that the, the KFC was 450, I think. Taste. I would go with that. The taste, every day. the calories, you're going to get KFC. Yeah. Um, 100%. Obviously, what we've done today, eating out as a vegan, is like we've eaten out for all of those. So, you know, yeah. you can bring the calories down. Even still, my calories today. Eating out four times, 2,400. Yeah. So that's not too bad, especially for, for me. If you wanted to lower that, obviously you might only eat out once and then you'd cook your own food. Yeah. So you can but, do yeah, it. It was all right. I have to say, like that's it's, it's marked improvement probably a couple of years ago. And I can yeah, imagine probably. now that if there's vegan restaurants out there, I now see that they probably actually do taste decent. I've eaten a vegan restaurant. That, they I've can eaten, make that I've decent. Eaten them, and they're eaten. good, genuinely. Eaten. In the future, they're on about they're able to grow meat in a petri dish now that's not so, even come from animals. So what's that then? Is no, that vegan? It, yeah, of course it will, because it's not come from an animal. They're now able to genetically produce it, like, and grow it as just a chicken breast in future. Like, apparently that's what Easy. it's going to be. So Dan, my mate, accountant mate, he worked for a company that was in charge of manufacturing and sold bacon. And one of their biggest problems in 10 years, they don't believe anybody would buy bacon anymore because they can replicate so yeah. much, the same macronutrient and micronutrient profile, and it, it'll be not harmful for, for, for obviously animals. So they reckon it'll be the same, the same tasting, they yeah. reckon they can replicate it like to the tea. And that'll be mainstream, that will. In the future, yeah. What will governments do? Uh, that's, that's another question for another day, isn't it? What they do for farmers and shit like that, but yeah. Anyway, full day of eating as a vegan. As a vegan. We ate nothing but vegan food for a day and nothing happened. Yeah. So if you like that video, hit thumbs up. Comment below with any other types of videos you want to see us do like this. Yeah. Full day of eating of meat, vegan yeah. food, vegetarian food, whatever I only ate meat for a day. Yeah. yeah. Keto. Let's balance it out now, Keto, shall we? whatever. Let us know. We'll do it. I just want to finish off by going. It's not very satiating. It's not. It's I'm like, full. <laughs> no, I'm not full. I'm I know. Really, I'm starving. Yeah. Like, and I've had two and a half thousand calories, and I should really be done. But I'm not. I'm going to eat again now. Yeah. No offense. Like, again, shouldn't be on camera because it should be a full day of eating. Stop. Yeah. Stop. yeah. I definitely do plant based. Yeah. But it's not very satiating. So if you are vegan, try to find ways of getting your protein up because obviously protein is the most satiating. Macronutrient. I mean, and we haven't really eaten that much veg. Have we? No. Like, we would eat obviously a bit more yeah. veg. Anyway. I just want to chip in with that. Don't forget to hit subscribe. See yeah. you in a bit. Like, subscribe. Done.